So definitely check that out. And in the studio right now, we have Connecticut Band, the 30th of February. Guys, how you doing? Hey. Hi. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Good. We're good. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank so you. so we have two of the three members. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And who do we have? I'm Ant, and I play guitar and sing. I'm Kevin. I'm... I just play guitar and do what Ant tells me to do. <laughs> you, do every, you do everything. Who are you I kidding? I just play guitar? Well, yeah. I Come sing on. too. He's, he's underplaying. He's, he's, he's playing it lower fun. than it really. He's important. <laughs> Absolutely. Synthesizer parts, oh, keyboard. I can't play that on. stuff. The every every cool I hear time. you because every time I minimize my role on the show, <laughs> Tina has to remind me, Rob, no, you are important. <laughs> you are the show. <laughs> and then she rolls her eyes, you know. <laughs> uh, so so there's three of you. What what kind of music do you play? What's your style? Uh, Like Nirvana and the Beatles put together. Interesting. My two favorite you know, uh, the, biggest influences are John Lennon and Kurt Cobain. There you go. Hence the flannel shirt he's wearing. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> yep, that's that. Even before I knew Nirvana, I always wore flannel. <laughs> and he's o- and he's also rocking a mop top like the Beatles. No, I'm just kidding. He's not no, like well, <laughs> my hair is tied up today top. because it's messy because of weather. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you guys been together as me, a band? Me and Kevin for seven years. It's been us, and then a rotating, you know, group We've, of ragtag musicians. We enlisted Dylan, our two drummer, years ago? two years ago. Yeah, D- Dylan's been with us the longest. Now, Tina's also in a band, so I'm pretty sure she can attest to <laughs> how hard it is to keep a band together and to keep a solid, cohesive group, right? It's impossible, but but it sounds like, Anthony, you're in charge, right? Well, because well, yeah, you just said you listen to and do what I he says. don't really listen. Kevin's he's very, just, Kevin's very, what's fa- the word? Uh, uh, I think, I think it runs in the family. We work together. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me. <laughs> I do. <laughs> You're in, she's in a band with my cousin, Denise. Yes. I think you and Denise have a lot in common. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just, <laughs> well, me and Kevin just, we, we, we usually th- happen to just have the same exact, like, th- view on, on our, on, on like what stuff should sound like. Like he comes up with parts. And I'm just like, whoa, okay, yeah, like, cool. I'll keep add that. like a guitar <laughs> lead that fits over like a chorus while while and singing because and I'm already doing two things, three things at once with my foot pedals and my singing and I'm trying to play guitar at the same time. And 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 while you're doing all that, I'm sure you're checking out the girls in the front row. I have, <laughs> my, so, she's probably listening, but no, because I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Look at this. Good he's, answer. He's, he's saying For no, but he's years. shaking his head. Yes, that is not <laughs> can't true. See that. No. No, it's okay. not true. No, it okay. isn't true. I'm teasing. <laughs> tell me about tell me about the album that you guys released in February. Resistance is futile. What can you tell us about that? It was very. It was in the. It's been in the making for three years, technically. <laughs> um, in 2011, we went to the studio for the first time, and uh, we recorded about six songs, and uh, we never finished it because um, one member left, so his songs we we took off, and. Uh, and I wasn't happy with how another one came out, and then it's just like, well, this is turning into like a four-song CD, and I don't feel like burning CDs for that. Mm. And um, then last year, the end of last year, it's like, hey, Kevin, you go to UNH. Why don't you got a true. studio there? Um, why, why don't we? Uh, why don't we record for free? So pretty of- much for the last <laughs> um, last semester, for I guess we decided, oh, why don't we just record some new songs? And we thought, oh, we don't want to just release an EP. We were like, why don't we just finish the album right Let's there? fill this up. Yeah, mm. good idea. And Where's that studio? Point I, me in the right direction. Be, <laughs> I, always, I always imagine Resistance as a full album, so when it was on the EP, I was kind of disappointed. And I was like, we'll finish it someday. And it took three years. but Now, what, what's the response been to the album? Pretty, pretty dang good we for us some... doing it all by ourselves. Good for you. I'm impressed. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. We... I did. We did the album. We made the books ourselves out of, you know, uh, Elmer's glue and paper and printing it black and white and making cases. We did it all ourselves. So the, the yeah. independent grind. It's really I love hard. It. Yeah. I all love those it. weeks, <laughs> all those weeks spent in that studio in Dodd's Hall was actually pretty much relaxing. We just <laughs> went there in the morning, record tracks, and even during school, we record tracks as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. During class, did you say? Um, Sometimes during (laughs) classes, out of class. uh, Okay, good. That's awesome. One of the songs, the secret song in the album, it's not secret because I just talked about it on the radio, but uh, is was Kevin's project. We recorded one of the songs as uh, his analog project. We recorded recorded it on tape. 
Beautiful. That was a monster. It was the biggest pain in the butt that Trust I me. think we've ever faced in the studio. I don't think we're ever going to touch on tape uh, no, for a while. No, we'll let somebody else do At it. At least for we're a while. We're not going to do it. Somebody else will do it for us. So for the listeners <laughs> who don't know what you're talking about, when you talk about <laughs> tape and that and all of that, what, is, what is the difference? So t- explain that a little bit to, well, the, to the listeners. Tape is pretty much natural sounding. Digital, you'll get that like in your face, like good quality, but at least with tape, you get more of a surreal like originality. So, you're t- so tape meaning old school, mm-hmm. wheel to wheel? It's the yeah. way I wish we could always do it, but it costs more. Oh, that's more. interesting. It, that's it costs interesting. more money. So you have upcoming gigs? Yeah, we've got Talk uh, about it. two of them. We've got one, was it already next week? Next Saturday at the Seaside Tavern in what is it? Stanford. Yeah, Stanford. Stanford. Mm-hmm. And uh, then on June 1st at the Short Beach in Stratford, we have a free show so for three and, hours. And these are original shows? Yeah. All yeah. original we're, music? We're, 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 did we mention that? Yeah, we're all original. I've been writing these songs for like seven years, and Kevin helps me a big time. Mm. Oh, I didn't mention, we don't have a bass player. <laughs> nope. Are you looking for one? Well, we have our <laughs> friend Matt, who's helping us out right now, and he's really good, and he's like our number one fan. But... Mm-hmm. um. So if there are any bass players out there well, listening, how, actually, how can they audition? Actually, it's mostly out of choice <laughs> because we're tired of people. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Not to sound mean or anything. No, it's just that we've been really frustrated with, with trying to find the right person who's also, like, friends can only go so far and then relationships are ruined when they're... You gotta have that ...get out of the band. I just, we just want to find somebody. So until we find the right person, we're just, it's me and Dylan and Kevin and Matt. Matt Numa helps. All right, so you guys have a Twitter and Facebook, correct? Yeah. So if they want to get a hold of you guys, the 30th of February, the look it up on 30th of February. Look it up on Facebook. Mm-hmm. They are there. Now, what's this song that we're going to be going into? This that? song's called Fake, and I wrote it um, like five years ago. And out of it was just, it wasn't even I was just like I'm going to write a song like Nirvana, <laughs> and I didn't even try with it, and people liked it, and uh, we play it pretty much at every show as the opener. It's also the opener on the album. That's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, the 30th of February, we're going to go into their song, Fake. Thank you very much for coming in the studio. Yeah, thanks, guys. I wish I could hang on to you. <laughs> uh, High five okay. from it's over okay. here. High five. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you.